Well, how do there, chums of the viewerverse, as I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I've got some news. Sean of the Murrays has dropped the emoji for the update. So let's jump on over to the Tinterwebs and let me show you what I mean. So jumping over onto the old Twitter verse, people, Sean of the Murrays tweeted out this Omega, the Omega emoji. Now, what I have said here, though, is here we go, people. Yes, we have an idea of what the expedition is. We have seen and played a version of the expedition. Things may differ, and there may be a new station in the release. Fingers crossed! Yeah, so a couple of data miners have jumped into the game files and seen a few things that are in there that are rather curious. But we'll get on to those, people. We've got a lot of curious things to go over in this episode, people. I guess we have. So anyways, I went on over to the actual community and I put out what people think of this emoji. Do they think it is simply just the expedition? Or could there be something else there, people inside of the view of us? So here's the actual poll results. Do you think with Sean's emoji post, blah, 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 do you think it's just the expedition or do you think it's something else? 18% of people have said no, way more. New stations, overrides, a ship racing and more. We're going to touch on ship racing in a bit, people. A bit more, new stations, at least, perhaps, more lore. I think that one's probably on the cards, and that one has hit the highest with the 38%. So yes, the expedition and a little bit more. We already know that we're going to get the ability to rerun expeditions. We already know that we can land and claim on pirate freighters and have our own pirate freighter, which again, we'll touch on a little bit later on. Thank you, yes. Exactly that, Ex Expeditions Plus Player Freighter, 25% has hit that up. So, so a lot of people are keep hedging their bets with that one. Not sure, just want to see the poll results, 15%. And then 5% say super hyped due to data miners and those that jump inside of the game files. Which we've got a bit of that to cover off as well, people inside of the viewerverse. right oh. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm trying to think what to do first, people. Right, people inside the view of us, I'm actually over on Rice's Starship Emporium, and he's done a showcase of the Starborn Runner ship, and he gets to a decal on the actual decal, decal, tomato, tomato. No, it's not the same thing. But anyway, let's hit play on this, and I'll show you what he says about this decal that I think is rather curious. Beautiful. That iridescent cockpit stunning. Now, a racing decal of a geck. Mm. Does that mean there's going to be a Viking one? Maybe a Corvax one? Who knows? But right for now, this is the one that's in the experimental version. Okay, Jums, so that decal on there is quite an interesting one, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's like a little racing geck, okay? So, yeah, what could that mean exactly, people inside the view of us, you know? Well, I've got a theory on that, people. So let me just jump over into game and I'll show you my theory on that, people. So here we go. Let's bring up the old game image. Chicka pow! I'm inside of game. You can probably hear the actual sound of the game in the background. So I'm on this planet. You probably hear Echo talk, uh, Exo talking about storms incoming. Now we've got a nutrient processor here, people. Now if I go into camera mode on this and look at the nutrient processor, round the side here, you might not be able to see it because the sun's not in the right position. But if I put the sun there, look at that. There's a little geck there smacking his lips and he's got a chef hat on his freaking head. Yeah, so, you know, we've got cooking come into the game off the back of that. We've got cooking, OK? We also got a lovely other de decal that's got exactly the same thing on it. Some sort of poster there. Oh, there we are. That we can place wherever we want, wherever we're doing our cooking. And that plays quite a big element into the game, does cooking, doesn't it? Not that um, anybody does it, because turning in the cooking products to Kronos literally puts you to sleep. Yeah, they need to make it so you can turn in like 50s or 100 batches to him at a time. And then we got given a bite beat, people are trying to view of us, didn't we? Now on the bite beat, look at this. We've got a little geck and he's got headphones on and there's a little musical note. Boom! Just like that, people. So, you know, when, you know when we see a ship, yeah, that's got a decal on it with a little geck going boom like that and this time it's got a racing helmet on and it's got a racing flag you know what that says to me people we're gonna get ship racing in the game that's that's what that says to me let me know in the comments what you think 
Do you think I'm right or do you think I'm wrong? In fact, I've done a whole video on why I think ship racing's coming in because we spotted some crossed flags inside of the new stations inside of the trailer. Go ahead to that video, take a look, see, because I'm quite excited that I think ship racing, if it's not in this update, I think is coming pretty soon into the verse. I would say this year, you know? Anyway, there you go. There's that to ponder on, people, isn't there? There is that. Ha-ha! Okay, Chum's another YouTuber by the name of Professor Cynical has done a video and he's managed to find that a lot of the actual ship parts, mainly the fighter ships, have been broken down into modular pieces. So let's just hear what he's got to say quickly, people. Next breaking story of today's video that modular ships are inbound for Norman Sky. Now, currently in the game files, and these were pretty hidden, I'm not going to lie, but I still managed to dig them out. You have these just plain looking ships without wings or thrusters, but the base of the ship is still there. Now, why would that be? Now, if first of all, we just I got a have a look at the ship by itself, you can see it's just the front of a normal fighter ship, but nothing else is added. Now, that is a little strange. It is. And oh, look, ladies and gentlemen, I have another one. In fact, in the game files, I have in my possession every single possible variant, everything from long nose ones to snub nose fighters, every variant that you can think of. I have a clean ship model where it doesn't have wings or an engine at the back that all look roughly like this just with the different fronts but why why do we have that in the game why is that now included within the game files now the evidence that i have okay right so these modular bits you see how smooth it is at the back there there's no sort of like inducty type pipes and things like that they're all very wedged shape at the back okay now, when you look at the Starborn Runner, you've got all these sort of pipe ducts that sort of loop over, and then you've got these side wings. I'm wondering whether they're going to give us assortment of these sort of side wings, a whole load of different variants of these side wings, that we can then staple onto the cockpit of our choice where it comes to fighters and turn them into a fighter hybrid race ship for ship racing. And maybe on the side rails and maybe on the fuselage, maybe we can add our own decals to make them more our own. That's a freaking beautiful thumbnail there, Scottish of the Rods as well. If you haven't hit up Scottish of the Rods, hit him up. And if you haven't already hit up Ricey, hit up Ricey. And if you haven't hit up Professor Cynical, hit up Professor Cynical. They're all brilliant content creators. I'm a fan of all of them. Yeah, and, oh, and also the structure. The structure's been doing some lovely thumbnails and some lovely videos as of late, including one where you can actually get your own pirate freighter. There's a few content creators that have hit me up. Hero was the first to hit me up with that, and I'm going to show you one of his videos in a bit. But yeah, yeah, don't go away, because you can get your own pirate freighter. Anyway, I think that we're going to get the ability to customise fuselages of our favourite fighter ships and turn them into a new type of ship that's modular. So it doesn't break ship hunting for the ship hunters, because you can still go out and find your, your fighters in whichever configuration you want. I think the modular ships are going to be the racing type ship for ship racing. And I'm hoping we can put up our own race initiators set up our own race tracks invite people to come and race on them and i'm hoping we get some more modules around sort of doing stuff with the actual back piping and the engines and putting on decals in fact professor cynical in that same video that i just hit up just a momentarily ago he actually shows that inside of the actual game files they've actually found different engine arrays for the back so if i just skip it to there make it a bit larger i'll show you that segment so here we go decided to go that level deeper and mod each individual file into the game and have a look exactly at what this was so the first isolated file i decided to try was the engine part at the back as you can see this is what the texture looks like on the brand new ships without the entire ship being in the way so it's really really cool it actually looks pretty awesome and then I did it with another one. And as you can see, we have more of these engine flames. Now, this is obviously the back of the ship that we're seeing again. And it's to do with the extra thrusters that we see. So all very nice. Now, those extra thrusters are just on these side mounts. They're here. They're those bits there. I mean, he might spin another round to the back. Another thing I noticed was the fact that this decal right here... Ah, no, he's touching on the, on the decal. He's touching on the decal, which I've already covered off. I honestly think that is a massive clue that ship racing is on the freaking cards, people. I really honestly do. 
Heck yes. But I also think modular ships, when it comes to racing ships, is also on the cards. Is it in this update? Or would it be some point in this year? Or maybe even next? Who knows? But it does feel like, my gut feeling, and also going by logic of what's been seen inside the game files, there could be something to it, people. I think it's got legs. I guess. Okay, jumps. So this is Hero's video. And as you can see here, he's got an S-Class. An S-Class pirate freighter. And he shows you how to do it. Now, Hero is a lovely guy. He's from Egypt. So, yeah, he doesn't... He's got a very unusual sort of accent. It almost feels like he's some sort of variant of Exo. Take a listen. He sounds quite robotic, but I actually really like his accent. I think it's freaking cool. There we go. Let me uh, play you this video. Because he shows you how to get an S-Class one of these. Now, it's a long video. I'm just going to play the first couple of sections. I'm going to be trying this live at some point, people. As soon as I've got my ship on my PC saved, capable of taking out a Sentinel Dreadnought without me struggling massively. So here we go. Let's hit play. In this video, I'm going to show you the only way to get pirate freighter is class in no man's sky. The update is still on Steam Experimental. It's not public yet, but very soon it will be public. I showed you yesterday how to get pirate freighter, but today we want the S class one. And after yesterday, I actually spent five hours trying to find the how and what is the easiest way for it. So right now, how to get the pirate freighter? There is two type of freighter in No Man's Sky. Capital freighter and system freighter. The system freighter, it's the easiest freighter in No Man's Sky. Now basically, we need to do the it, same thing again. It, it stems around where you make your restore point and how you access that restore point. Now, I'll put a link to his video inside the video description. Go and hit it up and watch it in full because you need to watch all the steps. But basically, he also shows you how to take out the freighter in what order. To try to create restore point in the same outlaw in the same battle system. I just got invited again. All I have to do go to the freighter. The class this time will change. You can see I got B class right here. Just from the scanner. The outlaw system, it have eighty five percent C class. All we need to do now restore point again and do the battle over and over and they keep do the same thing until we get S class. So it's pretty much like how you do freighter shopping originally, but in this way is how you can get it for your S class sort of Sentinel Dreadnought. Hit on up that video for full steps on how to do it. It's only available right now on PC Experimental, but I honestly don't think we're going to be waiting long for this update to come to all platforms. I'm thinking perhaps Wednesday of this week, which is Valentine's Day, which is going to upset quite a lot of people who have got Valentine's plans because they could be scuppered because they're going to be jumping on No Man's Sky to do, have some fun there. OK, but then again, saying that, if you look over at Sean Murray's posts over on the old Twitterverse, he actually tweeted out something quite romantical the other day, which I thought was lovely. Yeah, so yeah, this chap actually proposed to his missus inside of game. And it says there, will you marry me? And she replied, of course. Freaking beautiful, oh girls. Congratulations to you, voodoo garbage. Yes, of course. Tee tee well, OK, so people, you've got all my sort of thoughts on what I think is going to be happening. So I honestly think that the update is going to at least have the expedition, some more lore in it, and it may even bring in some ship racing. Yes, that could be on the cards. I think modular ships and the racing ships that we can actually build ourselves also has a chance of being in this update. But I think it might come out later in the year, that's what I'm thinking. Because it's been data mined and found in the files and it was buried deep, I don't know whether it's quite ready yet, but at least we'd have our actual first racing ship, which is the Starborn Runner. So I think there could be some interesting mechanics coming inside of this update. Will we see the new station types and the new station interiors? I think that's highly likely inside of this update as well. So this February could be quite a big update. And once it is actually in the public domain, and once all the files and folders have been put into place, then the data miners can get to work, and then we might get an idea of what might be on the cards for the rest of the year. But I still think that this update has been quite telling. Now, I did say in a previous video that depending on what happens inside of February is going to pave the way for the rest of the year. We can see all this tantalising stuff. 
We know this stuff could be on the horizon. It just depends on what Hello Games chooses to deliver. Are they going to deliver this in one big February update that is almost gib sized? I think that could happen. But if it doesn't happen, I think they're going to split it down into chunks and release it seasonally. So we might only see the ability to run expeditions and we might only see this new expedition put into place. A little bit like what we've been testing, the side of the actual experimental branch that might give us the Sentinel freighters as well. I mean, that feels about right for a February update. All of those elements together feels on par with what we've seen with companions, living ship, etc., etc. That feels about right in what usually gets delivered in a February. If we do get more, if we do get extra lore, if we do get given ship racing, if we do get these modular ships in February, it's going to be probably the best February ever, which then makes me think, well, what can they do to better that for the rest of the year? Which makes me super excited. But if we don't see those other additional bonus elements, I'm going to call them bonus elements at the moment. I think they might hold them back and put them out later in the year. That's what I'm thinking, people inside the viewerverse. Is this update also part four of the story arc? Well, I've been playing through the expedition so far. I've done five parts. I'm going to be finishing the sixth part, hopefully at some point over this weekend. If you haven't watched my playlist on the experimental branch, it is a version, a version of the expedition. It might not be the same as the final drop. So I don't know how much of it is spoilers and how much is, is, is just completely unique to the experimental branch but either way i mean i have done an overview video as well just check my channel look at the back catalog and see whether you want to dive in up to you on how deep you want to go spoiler wise but to be honest if the expedition is how we've seen it inside of the experimental branch i would say a lot of the missions in there we've seen in previous expeditions none of them have brought anything overly new to the table the way that you go about doing them has been quite time consuming on the old experiment. I'm not going to lie. I think I spent about three to four hours and that's legit hours playing it. So it's quite a big one, this one, really, in comparison to some of the others that you can speed run in like under an hour. And the first time you run it, you probably you've done it in two hours and a half. This one has took, um, taken me a lot longer than a lot of the other expeditions. Probably not as long as Voyagers because that one was just tedious as fudge. This one is not tedious. This one has been enjoyable and balanced okay so this one i will do a review on it the experimental version but yeah yeah i will do a review on it but then i'm also going to have to do it again on my playstation i can't wait for it to drop on playstation and see if it is different to what i've experienced in the experimental branch i was right though february has been a very exciting month for no man's sky and i think it's going to get even more exciting uh Man, and then I've got Dragon's Dogma in March, and I'm supposed to be trying to fit in Nightingale in between all of this as well. Oh my days. It's going to be a very busy time for my channel. I'm hoping to do a Monday members mooch on Monday where we're doing a bit of a deep dive into this. If you want to join me on Discord and you are part of my member crew, be sure to tune in for that. And we're going to speculate and talk about this sort of stuff. If no one tunes in, it'll just be me chatting gibberish. But anyway, until next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people.